Kita akan melihat kemeriahan acara pembukaan Piala Dunia 2018. Joining us CNN International Sports Correspondent Alex Thomas. Hi Alex. Halo Alex. Halo Alex, good evening. Yeah, hello, I can hear you. Yeah, okay Alex. How hello, is the opening? Okay, how is the opening ceremony of the World Cup 2018? Uh, we are nearing the end of the opening game at this uh, FIFA World Cup in Russia and the hosts have been having an amazing start to the tournament. 3-0 up with only minutes remaining against Saudi Arabia. This is the first World Cup ever to be held on Russian soil. So you can imagine how great they must be feeling after taking such a handsome lead over Saudi Arabia. We've just been trying to get details of the third goal scorer. Uh, that happened only a few moments ago and it was Artem Zhuba who was one of the second-half substitutes. Now two substitutes have scored in this opening game. Yuri Gajinski making history by getting the first goal by a Russian on home soil in a World Cup. Someone that was surprised to even get selected for Russia's World Cup squad. So Russia 3, Saudi Arabia 0, the latest score in the opening game. The action finally getting underway after all the build-up and following a half an hour opening ceremony featuring international pop star Robbie Williams singing some of his greatest hits, one of which was, of course, Let Me Entertain You. That's certainly something the Russian side have done. Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, is at that opening game along with other world dignitaries. So Russia making the best of it at the start of this World Cup as we head into four and a half weeks of top football action. OK. And related to the change of the coach of Spanish national team, which is quite surprising, how much it will impact the Spanish player ahead of Portugal tomorrow? Absolute chaos in Spain's football camp at a time when they went into this World Cup as one of the favourites to lift the trophy for the second time in their history. They were the 2010 world champions under coach Vicente del Bosque. He was replaced by Julian Lopetegui, who'd been doing very well with Spain. They'd gone 20 games unbeaten. But on the, earlier this week, he announced he was going to join top Spanish club Real Madrid, who recently lost Zinedine Zidane, who stepped down after leading the club to a third successive Champions League title. And Lopetegui apparently did it without warning the Spanish Football Federation, who were furious at the announcement, and their boss flew to the Spanish camp and sacked Lopetegui, even though the players didn't want it. Uh, the, the repercussions have been rumbling on. We're told that Sergio Ramos, a senior figure in Real Madrid's dressing room, had to be physically restrained after an altercation with the head of Spain's FA, who was giving a news conference a short while ago with Fernando Hierro, the man chosen to stand in as coach for this World Cup. He had been the Spanish sporting director and, ironically, also a legendary former Real Madrid player himself. Okay, thank you so much Alex Thomas, correspondent olahraga CNN melaporkan dari Moskwa, Rusia.